As far as the crisis in Sri Lanka is concerned with the statue of DA Rajapaksha, the father of the Rajapaksha brothers has now been broken up by a group of people in Tangale and Rajapaksha's statue has been broken into pieces and we have the latest visuals on our screen right now. Even as it seems like anarchy has taken over the Lankan Island nation and as you can see on the visuals, the entire statue has been brought down by these violent protesters. The statue of DA Rajapaksha has now been desecrated even as there has been an imposition of shoot at sight orders being given by the defence ministry in Sri Lanka. Not much has really changed as far as the protesters are concerned. So we are looking at uh, violence again that has been reported. Of course, uh, the curfew that has been imposed, this is another round of emergency for the second time over a month that has been imposed. But let's get you more firing visuals that are coming in where shots were fired into the air in Angora after a group of them started and attempted uh, to set fire to a police jeep. And this has happened in Sri Lanka. We are looking at the crisis that is just increasing by the day. Even when it comes to the ancestral properties of the Rajapakshas, that was set ablaze. Many of those ministers there, they also were attacked. But the Sri Lankan armed forces have now been ordered to shoot any person damaging the public property or threatening lives. This is the order that came in even as the anti-government protests in Sri Lanka continued. We have King Ratlam joining us this morning. Uh, King, thank you very much for speaking to us once again on Times Now. Uh, just help us understand today's situation. What exactly has anything changed or are we looking at more violence being reported? Well, um, I'm, um, I'm right here near a, near a petrol station here. As you can see behind me, uh, large crowds. Uh, it's a huge uh, line here. So people have been now told that there is nothing. Uh, so this, this has been the, the, the new normal for the last few months, people have been coming to petrol stations to find at least kerosene oil so that they can do their cooking because there is no gas, there is nothing. So today they've been told, uh, please go back, uh, there will be nothing. So it is getting worse uh, and I think the worse it gets, uh, the anger, uh, I can see the anger here boiling and, uh, and I feel that it's uh, going to get worse. And uh, King, help us understand what has been the situation as far as the forces being given a free hand is concerned. We are also getting in updates our, uh, how around around allegedly eight people have been killed because shoot at sight orders have been now given by the defence ministry. Yes, uh, you rightly said that eight people have been killed. Uh, more than 230 people have been injured. 88 vehicles, nearly 88 vehicles or more have been um, uh, destroyed. Uh, more than 100 houses have been, um, uh, uh, you know, disturbed and um, uh, destroyed. So uh, this number seems to be increasing. So the shootout order um, uh, is, is uh, as I said last night, is, uh, is the climax of uh, what transpired yesterday. It was expected from the moment emergency law came into play. But now uh, I think um, it is getting to a stage where uh, it can cause a, anything at any moment. Last night we also heard uh, there was some communal commun communal tension at uh, at the Katua Pitya, which was the same place where the uh, Easter bombings took place. Uh, so uh, there was also talk about this thing. Um, you know, there are uh, other groups trying to incite this racial conflict within this conflict. So, yeah, things are looking bad. King, just show us around. As you said, you are uh, at the petrol station there and uh, people have been out on the streets for basic amenities when it comes to food and fuel. They are having a hard time, rather, uh, to get those basic amenities there. So, on your screens, live pictures that are coming in from Sri Lanka where people are queuing up uh, to get fuel. And uh, the anger which is spilling now on the streets because uh, right after Mahinda Rajapakshi stepped down, uh, there have been reports that he might attempt to flee and that is why the highways have been blocked by the people. Is that true, King? Uh, sorry, I I, I, um, I wanted to hear ask you, you as far as uh, Mahinda Rajapakshi is concerned because he stepped down, there were reports that he will attempt to flee and the people now have blocked the roads. Really? Yes, uh, so this story uh, comes from uh, northeast Trinco, uh, the naval base. So there were yesterday there were many reports that came uh, uh, came in saying the Rajapaksa family, uh, uh, the immediate and the extended family have moved to 
uh, a place called the Navy House, which is an exclusive place built for uh, Mahindra Rajapaksha at the naval base in Trinko. And it was, uh, we saw visuals of uh, people surrounding the, uh, the naval base and trying to block him from uh, going. And they were also shouting at the army saying, please don't right. protect, uh, uh, you know, robbers.